Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Alicia and I'm obsessed with stickers and planning, so if you are too, you're in the right place. My channel is full of plan with me's, sticker hauls, and other planning videos. All of my videos have timestamps in the description so you can skip around to different sections and to different shops in my hauls. And if this is your 20th time listening to this intro, you can go ahead and skip this too. All my social media links, including Instagram, are in the description as well as all the supplies I use and notes about each video. The planner I'm currently using is my standard size vertical planner, which I use for decorative memory planning. I also just want to add a couple quick notes about me since I don't always remember to go into detail in my videos and for new viewers, it can be confusing. So when I mention work, I'm referring mostly to my bookkeeping position at a grocery store. And when I mention Anastasia, or Anna for short, she is my pet ball python. So let's go ahead and get started with this video, and I hope you enjoy! Hi everyone, welcome to today's haul. As you may remember from my last video, I have a ton of stuff to go over for the next few hauls. So buckle up, it's gonna be a lot of stuff as y'all are used to. So I'm gonna try to get kind of the smaller orders out of the way before I get into the bigger stuff. So um, I have just a few that I for sure wanna start with. So let's go ahead and get into it. I first have my latest script order from Kinsey's Creations. This was her reopening sale. So I did pick up everything that was on my wish list and a little bit more. And I'm so, so glad that she only raised her customs price by 50 cents. She said she was going to raise it and I was like thinking, all right, $5 each, right? <laughs> but um, somehow she managed to make it work by only raising it 50 cents. And um she had a limited number of custom slots for each day i think it was like 150 or something like that and i was like oh no because i had like 22 on my list and by the time i ordered it was 35 so um i was certain that i wouldn't be able to get all of them in so i was kind of worried about that but then she opened it up um a day early like a whole day of extra slots for her facebook group and I was so thankful for that because I did manage to get everything that I wanted on that first day and I think she still had some um, slots left over even at the end of the sale so I'm surprised like I guess people don't need as many customs as like I feel like I order every time but um I guess that's better for me so I was really pleased to have the opportunity to get all the ones that I wanted and of course I will always be needing more but um hopefully this will last me a little bit so Let's see, we have a few samplers, a few freebies. So we have this one, which looks like the fall Halloween freebie. Um, so we have set up new planner, decorate, fall drink, spooky movie, pumpkin cream cold brew, which I actually did try this year, so I will be using that. Um, happy Halloween, advent arrive, sweater weather, and trick or treat. And these are all on the matte white paper instead of clear. And there's a time and place for um, matte, so glad to have that option. And then here's the $50 and up freebie. So we have pumpkin spice, happy meal, buy all the stickers, family time, planning time, relax, planner sale, YouTube binge, and then some block letter scripts. So we have buy fall stickers, buy fall candles, target run, play with stickers, a couple of those, and then a shopping spree. All right, so... Some of these are refills for me, and some of these are for, I think one, I think one sheet is for Sage, so I didn't bother to go through this and take it out, so all of this will be new and exciting for me, so let's get into it. I did get a chai tea script because it is my favorite Starbucks drink. I do like pumpkin chai during this fall season, so that's what I've been getting lately. It's just a pumpkin chai with soy milk. Um, and the cinnamon dulce sweetener because it's sugar free and I can't tell. Yeah, that's my that's my go-to Starbucks drink around this time of year. But I did get the chai just for you know normal normal Starbucks runs, not during the fall season. Um, and then I also wanted to have thank you notes because I do spend a lot of time writing thank you notes after my birthday and after Christmas. I send them out to everybody who sends me things. I just think it's a really nice thing to do to have handwritten notes and I like to dress them all up with you know stickers and washi as well um, and I'm certain that a lot of us in the planner community still like doing handwritten notes so it may not seem so unusual to y'all but yeah no, none of my friends you know in real life who aren't into planning 
really do that sort of thing. So I just, I think it's a nice touch and people really do appreciate them. So um, I did want to get a script to mark whenever I sit down and do those because I always like to mark it in a half box because it takes, you know, it takes a couple hours to get through them all. So I have the big script for the half box and I also should have one later in here, um, right here actually, there it is. Here's the smaller one if I ever need to put it in like a little thing. There we go. And next is Upset Stomach. I also got this in both sizes. I don't know when, where the other one will be. But um, sometimes it's not just a stomach ache. Sometimes, you know, it's Upset Stomach. Like, I'm sure y'all know what I mean. Like, um, sometimes if I go for a few days without drinking coffee and then I drink coffee, you know, my stomach's not happy about that. Y'all know all about what coffee can do to you. But since I've been drinking it pretty much every day, I don't really have that issue. But it could be that. It could be I ate too much food. It could be, you know, sometimes I eat a burrito and I haven't eaten fast food in a while. And... It just does not agree with me, but it's, you know, it's worth it for that burrito, let me tell you. But, um, yeah, I just, I needed something different from Stomach Geek, so I'm just going to add this to my collection. So I have this in both sizes, you will see the smaller size later. I also got brush hair, because previously until now I had been using my own brush hair stickers that I drew for myself in the script that I had, but I finally ran out of those, so I needed to, to pick up character stickers for that, which I already did from Pumpkin Paper Co., and I also needed the script to match, so here it is from Kinsey, and I think I also have this in a bigger version. I really should have just put these together, but I, like I said, I didn't go through it, so we'll see that later. But yeah, brushing out my hair, like, I don't know, for people with a different hair type, they probably brush their hair or comb their hair every day, but for me, um, I try to do it, like, I say once a month, but more recently it has been less frequently than that, like maybe once every two months or so, um, because my hair gets super matted, and even just combing and combing through and washing my hair, like, once a week, even that I feel like doesn't get all of the mats out, so I have to take a brush to it and just really wrestle with it every, you know, every so often. So I have to, like, make an event of it, so that's what these script was for. I needed refills of my big nap script, so I just got two of those, hoping they would last quite a while, so there's that and same with plan with me I just got a refill of that in the all caps because I was running low on that um, I also got pickup meds I like I've been marking this in a half box a lot lately because I have the room to do so but yeah if I go to CVS pick up medicine um, pick up medications rather then I just wanted to mark that in a half box mend clothes um, I do have to mend and alter a lot of my clothes. I don't go to a tailor because, I don't know, I just, I feel like I can do a lot of the smaller stuff that I need myself. So most pants that I buy, I have to hem. Um, and so I will typically do that by hand because, I don't know, I don't need it to look perfect, like with the pants that I have. Like if it was a nice pair of pants, I would probably take that to somebody, but like my work pants, my pajama pants, like those, those can look crappy or, you know, however it looks if I do it myself. So I, I try to do those myself, and if I get holes in, like, my sweaters and stuff, I will mend those myself, etc. So I just wanted to be able to mark mending my clothes. I think I also have a bigger size script for this. I think all, like, most of these I got in two sizes, so I don't... Yeah, there they are all at the end, so y'all will see those later, but there is the smaller version of mend clothes. Um, I needed a few more food scripts, so I got salad salad time I just put because you know me I have if, if I can't have it be too short of a script because then there's like way too much room left on the little thing so I just I add time onto things burger time I don't think I did sandwich time I think I did sandwiches but like tea time here's salad time you know y'all know how I do so there's salads um then we have wash dishes I have foiled scripts of this but I like I'm running out of those and I don't have any I didn't have any just black scripts, so had to get wash dishes. Um, again, it's you know something that you, should, you really do every day, and you don't have to mark it all the time. But for me, sometimes I let it pile up a few days, and then I have just a big session, and I will mark it sometimes. So just wanted to be able to have that. And so here's the little thing size version of that. <laughs> I got nuggies, cause I do love me some chicken nuggies. I like chicken tenders too now, like. I like both. I don't know. I, eat, I never used to eat those at all until this year, and now it's like my favorite food, but I did need me some Nuggies scripts, so there's that. Um, I almost wish I had like a half box size version of that. 
y'all know me i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna get the box script like that and i'm gonna get chicky nuggies that is exactly what i'm gonna do so look out for that <laughs> anyway here's the script i got for sage she said she didn't get a dory moment so i got her this uh the sheet with the half fill that she likes i like the half fill too but i just like the no fill better because then i can fill it in however i want um so yeah that's for her oh yeah if you don't know dory moment it's just an inside joke between us because she's dory and i'm marlin like sometimes she's like she forgets stuff or she like goes all over the place when she's trying to tell me something and it's just so funny so she has her dory moments so some we got scripts to mark that i already got some for myself um my favorite fruit not my favorite fruit my favorite fruit is mango technically that's my official favorite fruit but like my favorite melon is cantaloupe like i'm obsessed with cantaloupe no joke i had a watermelon script i don't know why because watermelons are good but like they're it's much harder to find a good watermelon than it is to find a good cantaloupe i've never really had a problem with the cantaloupes so i needed a cantaloupe script finally i should actually buy some because i haven't bought one in a really long time but i love me some cantaloupes so there's a script for that here's the giant brush hair half box script that goes along with the giant pumpkin paper coat girl brushing her hair sticker that i already have i got a refill of the insta in the big block scripts um windy day i didn't have windy day but it's been a lot windier lately so i've been needing to mark it we're actually having like we have like a national weather alert or not national but like a like an important weather alert or something like severe weather i don't know um, because of wind lately, and I haven't been feeling it. It's been actually really nice weather lately. We've had, like, nice breeze and stuff, so it hasn't been, like, super windy, but I guess it is somewhere close to us, but hasn't been that bad yet, but there's, there's some wind here, so I wanted to get Windy Day to match all of my other weather scripts, because I have pretty much every other kind of weather script, but, um, I didn't have a windy day, so wanted to get that, and then a refill of haul. I got two of the smaller hauls because I just like to be able to have a smaller size if when I do mixing and matching like haul insta post or upload haul stuff like that um I got Marlin moment for me of course because I already have the Dory moment for me but since I'm Marlin I have more often Marlin moments so like if I get mad about something or I go off on something or I have a rant <laughs> that's what we call me having a Marlin moment so had to get mine to match um, got some refills of the larger draw scripts. I like these because these are bigger than the ones that she had before. She like changes up her sizes a lot on things and I always feel like whatever size she changes to is like the correct one. So she made some scripts a little bit smaller and she made some bigger. So like this bigger draw script I really like. So good change on that. Um, and then we get these smaller Happy Meal scripts. I did get two refills of that because I do order not in order. I do use these scripts a lot more frequently. And I just love the, the way this is written, this cursive. I don't know. Some, some of, I love all of her cursive scripts, but like just some are just like perfect to me. And I just really love the way that she did Happy Mail. So I have plenty of those. And I also got Order Rats. I used to um, mark Order Mice um, a lot in my planner. Well, the context for y'all I mean you know from my intro I have a snake um a ball python and she eats rodents um she doesn't eat live she eats frozen thawed so I do have to order them every now and then when she was a baby the first year or so of her life uh, before she hit the weight requirement to move to rats she ate mice so I used to mark that a lot just order mice I used to mark that in my planner um, but since now she's moved to rats, rats is pretty much all she's going to eat for the rest of her life because ball pythons don't really get that fat. When I get a bigger snake, like, I don't, I don't know, I don't think a boa would eat anything bigger. But if, if I got a berm or a reticulated python, um, those guys I feel like they can get to the point where they eat rabbits and like bigger rodents. So... At that point, I would need to up the food, but for the rest of Anna's life, for the rest of Anastasia's life, she's going to pretty much eat rats, and that's it. So I decided, you know, about time to get the, the script for that, because I'm going to be marking that a lot more than, you know, order mice. So, yep, she's on, she's on rats permanently now, so here's my order rats script for that. Did I get the half box version of that? I feel like I should have, but I didn't. Um, I don't know, maybe I don't need it. 
Sometimes what I do with these scripts is if I do need to put it in a half box, I will cut it in half between the two words and I'll put order on top and I'll just put rats underneath and I'll do stuff like that. But honestly, I'd rather have the block letter version. So I'll add that to my list. What was the other thing I wanted on my list? Holy moly, I'm gonna have to rewatch this video and look for it because I can never remember. I really cannot, but um, yeah. So there's order rats and then here's the bigger wash dishes. Y'all already heard the story behind that. So there's the half box version. Um, here is s'mores. I do make a lot of s'mores as desserts. Um, the time period that I'm still back planning for, which was, I, th I, th I think it's getting into the spring of this year. Um, I guess I have, was having a lot more s'mores, so, um, I would have used these if I had had those at the time, but, um, yeah, and then I didn't really have s'mores a lot during the summer, but now that it's fall, I'm like, I'm getting back into the feeling of wanting to make s'mores, so, um, the script will be appropriate for that. I do love making s'mores at home. Just in my little toaster oven, like, I hate open flames, so I'm not about to go to a bonfire and do that. Um, if somebody else is doing it, I will, but, like, I'm just fine doing it in my little toaster oven at home. All right, I'm really pleased about this because I needed a refill of my Adventure Time scripts, but when I got it last time, um, she, she wasn't able to put it on one line. She did have to put it on two lines, and it made it a lot harder for me to, um, to fit that script into the stickers that I wanted to use. Like, it, w it couldn't fit in the little thing. It would have to be in, like, a fancy label or larger. So, I'm glad that, um, in my second, uh, iteration of customs of this script, I'm glad that she was able to put it all on one line for me. So, thank you so much for doing that, Kinsey. That's gonna make it a lot easier for me. I don't even care how small you have to make a script for me, but, um, as long as you can fit it on one line, that's just, that's really perfect for me. So, so pleased about that because I am still binging this show, which is my favorite show, and I'm still drawing along on my iPad, drawing all of Princess Bubblegum's outfits, so I'm actually starting to get back into that as well, so glad to have refills of that. And then here's the upset stomach in the, um, in the little thing size, the cursive, here's the mend clothes in the bigger size, half box size. And they pick up meds in the little thing size. And then a refill of tea time. I should probably get another refill of this. But I don't know, I've been drinking coffee so much that I've been not drinking tea as much. But I need to I need to get back into that. I just bought this like caramel apple tea or whatever. And it's delicious. I also have an apple cider too. But yeah, I've been I've been experimenting more with fall drinks anyways. So that's a refill. And then I also got her Halloween movies um, sampler. And I, just, I love this. It's so funny because I was like so pleased that she had included like Monster House and like Coraline and like Hotel Transylvania. And like, I, I mean, I guess Coraline's popular, but like some of these are like lesser known popular Halloween movies. I was like, thank you so much for including those because I have never seen Monster House on like almost anything else. Um, she was like, haha, I just googled a list of Halloween movies and that came up, <laughs> but I was still thankful because, like, I love that. And I just, I love the way she, she does some of these in cursive and some of these in block and then some are mixed. I, I just love that look, so really pleased for this sampler. So we have Hocus Pocus, which I don't like, Haunted Mansion, which I don't think I've even seen all the way through, Friday the 13th, it's kind of boring until the end, which is the best double plot twist of any movie I've ever seen. Monster House, which is one of my favorite movies ever, Adam's Family, which I haven't seen, but I feel like I would really love, Nightmare Before Christmas, classic, love it, Scream, have not seen, Twitches, it's cute, I don't think I'll watch it again, Casper, it's cute, I will force myself to watch it in order to use all the stickers I have for it, but it's really not worth the rewatch, Carrie, that was alright, not worth a rewatch. Coraline, one of the best movies of all time. Beetlejuice, I did actually watch it for the second time this year, and I could actually pay attention to it, and it is actually, like, pretty amusing. Like, it's kind of interesting and kind of funny. I did watch it when I was a little bit drunk, um, which I thought, like, infinitely magnified the greatness of the movie. Like, watching it sober, I think it would not be so good as it was, because it got kind of, like, weird and crazy towards the end, but it was enjoyable. Hotel Transylvania, those movies are so cute, and I love them. It still have not seen. I have no idea how I feel about it, because it has gotten mixed reviews from everybody. And Halloween Town, which is cute, but I don't think I'll watch it again. So there's my review of all of those. And that is it for my 
Kinsey's Creation script order. And as usual, I finish off this whole segment thinking of a million more scripts than I need because I'm addicted to her scripts. Like, like I said, like I say every time, my goal is to just fill up my planner completely, like every spread, all of her scripts. Yep. Yeah. That's the goal. Anyways, all right, what's next? Um, two kind of bigger orders. I know I said smaller orders, but like these are kind of on the bigger side. But we'll just go ahead and get into some little things. So let me zoom out a little bit. So this is my base order since January, I believe. So it has been a long time coming. She's come out with a lot since January and there was a lot that I had also missed before that I didn't get or just like stickers that I wasn't using at that time that I am that I do have need of now. So um, I just needed to place an order. And the reason I placed an order at this time was because she was coming out with blind boxes for her washi stands. And she had previously come out with a washi stand for her like baking subscription box whatever that was um she come up with that one i thought it was cute i thought it was a really fun idea and i was waiting for her to come out with more so that she would that i would have more options to get one that i really wanted because i, I just really i really wanted one this just seemed like such a fun idea like to display so um she came out with her line of what are they called yokai or something like um, myth mythical creatures basically and I saw one that I like immediately had to have and obviously it was the um, Tanuki which is like this little raccoon character that you may recognize from Super Mario at least this is how I recognize it personally um, because the Tanuki suit was like a new power-up that you could get in Super Mario 3D Land for the DS or 3DS, I guess, obviously, which I still play to this day. I played it just the other day. But um, I think that was the first time it was brought up as a power-up, but it was super cute. You could, like, glide through the air with it. Um, so that was how I first was introduced to the Shinuki. And then um, I think Tom Nook in Animal Crossing is, like, he's a raccoon, but he's, like, I think there have been, like, parallels drawn between him and a tanuki or something but like this reminds me of tom nook so and the little leaf which is like very obviously an animal crossing leaf i i saw this one and i was like that's animal crossing for me like i need this for my animal crossing tapes of which i only have two right now which is really sad but um that's kind of like what i'm gonna use this for so here's the little stand it says washi tape and some little things and it comes like like in two pieces so you have to like put this piece into this piece and then it like stands up like that See, that's how you know my camera's not looking exactly head on because you can still see it at an angle. But um, but yeah, so that's just what it looks like. I want to get like a Harry Potter themed one because I have a lot of Harry Potter themed washi too. But still waiting for somebody to come out with one. I might put like some just green washi or like other kinds of washi on here too. I don't know, just to fill it out more. But um, it is super cute as a washi display. So that I needed. Um, and then the rest of this, I was just like, it's time for another base order. And this was during some kind of sale, I think. I don't remember what it was. But, um, she, like, had a bunch of tiered freebies as well. So, got a lot of extras in here. Including this little, like, ring planner thing. I forget what size it was. It's like an A5 or something. Um, so it's kind of big. But it's basically like a little clear rings planner, which is kind of a cool idea. I do have a hole punch, I think, that would work for this. However, I don't really plan in rings anymore. So I don't think I will be using this, but I will just add it to my giveaway pile for the next giveaway that I have. And now let's get into everything else. So we have a bunch more of the freebies. So this is a pop socket, I believe. Really cute fall themed Lil pop socket. Um, I don't really use pop sockets. It just seems, I mean, okay, so right now my phone is an iPhone SE, the original one, which is a perfect size to fit in my hand. And I don't wanna upgrade phones as long as I can because I really enjoy having my phone be able to fit in my hand and my pocket and wherever else I need it to fit. Um, so. I really don't want to upgrade to a bigger phone, but I think the invention of pop sockets was kind of to to um, help people hold on to their phones when they were too big for their hands. I think that's the point of a pop socket. So I don't need it right now because my phone does fit in my hand, but I feel like if I upgraded, I would need 
a pop socket, but right now I do not. So I am also just going to give that away. Um, also, we have a little pen here with, I think that's one of the other yokai, maybe. I'm not, kind of a mushroom frog creature, I'm not really sure. But yeah, just this cute little pen. I will also be giving this away, I believe, because I don't really collect pens. Um, and then what else do we have? So we have this little freebie washi tape, I guess. This is kind of cute. It's like a dark orange with gold star foil on there. And then we have the um, tanuki washi tape as well that came with the, um, the stand. They came as like a set, I believe. So that I will definitely be keeping, and obviously I will put that on my washi stand as well. Alright, and now for the order. It's kind of thick. I did get a lot of sheets, like I said, because this is everything that she's come out with since January and also some stuff before that that I just didn't get. And also we have the little seal of approval sticker right there, which is so cute. Alright. So we got some freebies. This one is the October freebie. Was it the epic sale that I got this with? It was probably the epic sale. Um, yeah, because it was the same day as the release of the Yokai collection. So, yep. That must have been what that was. Um, and then the Misfit Crew subscription, which was like the festive nights theme, I think. I'm not sure. I didn't get that one um, on the 17th. And then obviously Halloween on the 31st. Super cute. I love how she does like a little mini calendar for her um, freebies. And then this must be like the, um, the epic sale freebie or something like that. So, um not really sure what that is about. So we also have a Polaroid camera. I guess Lola's is watching a K-drama in that one. Um, cosplaying as Ursula and then eating a watermelon. So those are super cute. I'll be using those. And that is in a little planner die cut kind of thing. And then a lot of tiny sheets and a nice piece of cardboard keeping it all steady. Here's list of characters. Now I'll finally be able to tell the difference between oatmeal and cinnamon. I think I've, I think I pretty much got that down. Oatmeal is the guy and he's like got the blue on him and then cinnamon has the bow. So that's pretty easy to tell. I've never, I, I don't see Mimi in enough stickers. I literally do not see her like anywhere and that's really sad. Um, so yeah, Lil and Mimi are sisters. Um, and then there's Nono, the dino, super cute, and then Narnar. Narna's the name I can never remember, but he's like the narwhal. Anyway, yep. There's a little thank you note on that. Did I order? I must have ordered this San Francisco bucket list, but I like didn't realize it was such a big sheet, but I'm like, I'm not mad because I like it. Um, obviously, I had to get it because I visit San Francisco as often as I can, which is, you know, like once a month. or It's been less than that lately, but like my goal was once a month. Um, because my best friends Aiden and Alex live up there and I love visiting them and just seeing the town or like, the city I guess it's a bit bigger than a town but um, I love seeing the sights and a lot of this stuff is still on our list of things to do so I try to get you know San Francisco stickers wherever I can whenever I see a shop with them so here we have Alcatraz which we still need to do cable car Chinatown I think we did go to Chinatown that one time that we got the mochi donuts. I think that was China, or was it Japantown? I think it was Japantown, actually. Yep, that's probably Japantown. <laughs> I don't know. Um, and then, I guess, San Francisco Giants looks like baseball. Hmm, I don't know if I would do that. Pier 39, Golden Gate Bridge, we did see that. Twin Peaks, they used to live, like, right next to that, so I think I've been to Twin Peaks. Um... And then the Museum of Modern Art. We haven't done that yet. Japantown, like I said, we did that. I don't know what Land's End is, but I'm curious now. The zoo, have not been there, but I love zoos. And then Fort Point, I guess. It's a fort. Haven't done that either. So, that will be exciting to do all that. I was trying to see if these were like actual stickers too, but they are not. So it's not like a wonton in a million bucket list or a once more with love or like the, um, the names of the activities are stickers too. So just so y'all know. Alright, now for this thick stack of character stickers. So, we have a therapy sticker. 
and I did talk about this briefly back when I hauled um, like my one or two other sheets of therapy stickers that I own. Um, I don't really go to therapy with another person, but sometimes I take some time to sit down and think about um, the various things that I would go over in a therapy session and kind of just have self-therapy. So um, I just wanted to be able to mark that with some kind of therapy sticker. And then sleepy time. I have a lot of sleep and nap time stickers, but I go through them so extremely fast that I'm always needing more. So had to get this sheet as well. Super cute. I love how most of them are pink, but then you get some greens and oranges and yellows just to match more spreads. And then of course I always need more tired stickers as well. So here's the panda eyes sheet. Super applicable to me, unfortunately. Um, I did get the Animal Crossing sheets, so we have little Animal Crossing, so there's Isabel, Tom Nook, Timmy and Tommy, Blathers, and then KK Cider, which is hilarious because he's like the only dog in the game that's naked, <laughs> and just nobody says anything, it's totally normal. And then here we have some more characters, um, I think that is Celeste, who is the sister of Blathers. Um, and then Reese and Cyrus, I'm pretty sure. And then is that Maple? I don't know. These two are like villager characters, but I do not know their names for certain. Anyways, there's that. Puzzle time. Me and Aiden love doing puzzles and Alex too. And my family loves doing puzzles. So we are puzzle people. So I had to get the puzzle sticker. Sticker sheet. Um, more Animal Crossing, I guess, because they are mixed up. So... We have the daily Animal Crossing activities, um, getting fossils, going fishing, <laughs> that's not a daily activity for me, god I'm bad at fishing in Animal Crossing, um, slingshotting presents, that I do whenever I see them, catching tarantulas, I don't have New Horizons yet so I have not caught a tarantula, I mean maybe it's possible in New Leaf, I'm not sure, I don't think I've done it, and I don't really know what those cards are either. Um, and then here's a tracker. So kind of like a bucket list. So we get three house upgrades, new residents, KK Cider concert. I love his concerts. It's such a fun event. Three, catching tarantulas, collect nook miles, donate to museum. I love doing that as well. Terraforming. I can't wait for that element when I finally get um, a switch because I do have the game in New Horizons. Breeding flowers. I always felt like that was kind of like a waste of time because I don't care about flowers, but it seems like a fun thing to do. Um, flick visits, CJ visits, buy turnips, again, something I never did, because you can do it in New Leaf, I just did not care about the turnip stock market, and then Celeste visits, and then um, naturally we also have this Switch playing sheet as well, I do love the Switch, even though I don't have one, I played a lot on the, um, Alex's when we shared the same room, so I have experience with it, it is a fantastic console, let me zoom in, why am I not zoomed in? Alright, so then we have, um, I guess this is like a rainy day sheet, which is super cute. I love the pinks and yellows. Doesn't rain as much here as I'd like, as it used to, but it's always a wonderful day when it rains. Oh, and then I love this Mario sheet. I just, I love Mario games. Mario games and Animal Crossing games are like my favorite games. So, Mario, Luigi, Princess Peach, Toad, and Bowser. Super cute. I still do play Mario games played some just the other day. <laughs> I love this. So this is little Edna Mode from The Incredibles, as you might recognize her. I do have the, um, some little things, Advent um, Incredibles sheet already, almost at Adventures. But yeah, I think I have that sheet too, if she has one. Anyway, so I do have the Incredibles sheet, but the Edna Mode sheet is really funny, so I had to get that too. Um, and then we have the Surfer sheet. I don't really do surfing, but, um, Aiden and I were kind of thinking about surf related activities. So I just, you know, I wanted to be prepared for any eventuality. Oh, and then this one. So we have um, shark cage diving, which is super funny that, like, this super specific activity just, like, happens to be in the shop. Because I don't think I've ever seen these types of stickers anywhere else. But um, me and my boyfriend, like, talk, well, we like sharks. And so we talk about um, going into, you know, a shark cage and going diving like that every time we talk about sharks and it's just it's so funny that I got the sheet before we even started talking about that before I even had a boyfriend so I was thinking ahead clearly but I don't know in case we ever do that I guess now I have that sticker um 
and then I got the piano sheet as well it's funny it's called little a flat but um yeah I do try to play the piano whenever I go back to my parents house because that is where the piano is I do not have room for one here in my current house um, so then here is, oh yes, here's the little avatar sh er, sheet, so it's called Little Benders, and I had to get two of these because I just love them so much. These were the first avatar character stickers that I ever saw, and I was so happy about this, so excited, but I didn't purchase them until now. So, um, yeah, I still have to mark, um, benching, er, ben binging the show, so I'm actually just kind of starting to do that in my planner, in my back planning. So, um so glad that I now have character stickers to mark that. Um, so yeah, so there's Aang and Katara and Toph and Zuko and Appa. Unfortunately, there's no Momo. There we go. There's also no Sokka, which is super sad. No Azula either, or Iroh. But that's okay, we can't fit everybody. Anyways, I just, I love those stickers. Alright, and then we have... <laughs> little melted buns <laughs> so this is when it's so hot that you're melting which does happen quite a lot here unfortunately yeah sometimes i have to sit on ice packs it gets so hot so this is like me except i would be sitting on it and then we have popsicles i think this is so funny these are little popsicles shaped like lil <laughs> love that and that looks like an ice cream bar as well all right. Oh, I love these too. So these are sandwiches shaped like Lil. These are the cutest things I've ever seen. So we got several different types of sandwiches there. So adorable. These were, I think, some of the ones that I passed up on before, but they're too cute to pass up on for real. And then the watermelon ones as well. So this is like from the um, from the little sampler right here. I had to get the whole sheet of them, of course, because I do like watermelons as well. Even if again they're not as good as cantaloupe. And then I got the, oh yeah, she, she had all of her Disney princess sheets as well, and I remember when those came out, and I like really wanted all of them, but again, I just never placed an order until now, so I just got all of them right now. So here we have Cinderella, with Cinderella the fairy godmother, Jacques, the pumpkin, slipper, and then Mickey ears. Beauty and the Beast, my favorite Disney princess. So there's Belle, Adam, Lumiere. Chip, Cogsworth, and then the Mickey ears. Here is Mulan. So we have, I think, both iterations of Mulan and then Mushu. Um, as her dog, which is like barely in the movie, like at all. Um, I have no idea what the cricket's name is. And then the Mickey ears, of course. And then here's Rapunzel. So we have Rapunzel, Mother Gothel, Eugene, Pascal, the frying pan with the happy face, which is too funny. The Mickey ears. Here's Snow White. Grumpy, who's the only dwarf on here, which is hilarious. Um, the Evil Queen, the Magic Mirror, the Mickey ears. Super cute. Here we have um, Sleeping Beauty. So we have Aurora, Maleficent, Prince Philip, the three fairies, and the Mickey ears. Here's Moana. So we have um, Moana, Maui, what are they called? I think they're called the Kakamori or something like that. And then Pua the pig, and then Hey Hey, who will my hate with a burning passion. Y'all know. Um, all right, and then the Little Mermaid. So we have Ariel, Ursula, Prince Eric, Sebastian, Flounder, and what the heck is his name? It's at the tip of my tongue. The sequel. Y'all know who I'm talking about. I'm never gonna remember his name. I just watched this. I just watched like all three of those movies. I don't remember his name. It's gonna come to me like as soon as I'm done filming. All right. Um. Then we have Pocahontas. I actually just watched both these movies as well. So we have Pocahontas, Miko, Coco One, I think. Um, John Smith, and then Percy. I'm pretty sure the dog's name is Percy another name that I didn't think I would ever remember but I've drilled it into my brain because I know that I forget things too easily all right and then we have um, Aladdin so we have Aladdin Jasmine Jafar um, the genie and then um, Abu there we go 
and of course Frozen. So we have Anna and Elsa. I love how Elsa's hair is like sticking up. Um, and then Kristoff. I thought Kristoff was blonde. He has like brown hair. That's interesting. Um, and then Sven, and then Olaf. Olaf is the funniest character by far of this whole franchise. Like, I can never, I never think of it naturally, but whenever I see, like, any clip with Olaf saying anything, it's just the funniest thing I've ever seen. He's way underrated. Um, and then Princess and the Frog, I did watch those recently as well. So we have, um, what's her name? Why can I not remember her name? I don't know. This I just watched this movie. I've I've watched all of the Disney movies recently, so it's Yeah, I'm just I'm not gonna get it. I know that that's Naveen. That's Dr. Facilier. Um Okay, thank god. I don't I don't remember the alligator's name either, so that makes me feel a little bit better. This this a movie I've only seen like twice in my life. It's it's not at the forefront of my memory. Um and then a little frog character, of course. And then Brave, so we have Merida, her mom, um, one of her brothers, um, a cute little bear. I like to mention that that's her little brothers as a bear. And is that supposed to be her dad? There's no way. That does not look like her dad, but her dad's name is Rogus anyway don't remember her mom's name. No, it's Eleanor. I think it's Eleanor. I'm pretty sure. All right. Yes, we have Hercules too. That's a nice surprise. So Hercules, Meg, um, God, I know his name, but I don't remember what it is. I've heard it a million times, but I don't remember. Hades, um, Pegasus, and then the two like little henchmen. I, I've seen this movie like once a long time ago and I don't remember anything. I need to rewatch that for sure. Oh, sweet. We have Rick at Ralph too. So there's Ralph, Vanellope, Fix-It Felix, don't remember her name, and then King, King Candy or something dumb like that, I don't know. That was a really cute movie. And um, then we have Lilo and Stitch. So there's Stitch, Lilo, Scrump, I'm guessing Lilo again, and then the little girl who was like Stitch's love interest, I guess, question mark? I don't know. Um, and then for some reason there's like princess dresses on this sheet, so I had to get that too because I love clothing stickers for some reason more than I love shopping for clothing. Alright, um, and then we have chips. I just, I love chip stickers as well. So we have Cheetos, Doritos, classic potato chips. Those are like the kettle chips and then ruffles. I like, um, the wavy classic potato chips. Those are my favorite. Mini sheets. I don't even know I got mini sheets. So we have clean toilet. I actually did that the other day, so I'm proud of myself for that. And then dishes. Same with that. And then we got moon cakes. I haven't had a moon cake yet, I don't think, but I feel like I would love it. So I had to get this sheet. I love um, all kinds of like Chinese and Japanese desserts. Um, more Animal Crossing for some reason. So just got mixed up with all the others. But yeah, just some doodles. We got the leaf, the bag of bells, the tree, the Nook Mouse ticket, I think, and then fossils. Oh, and then this is fun. This is like a Harry Potter food sheet. So we get chocolate frogs, um, butter beer, I guess, and then both of those. And then the Birdie Bots, every few of our beans, which I love so much. Those are like my favorite jelly beans. Super duper fun. I haven't had either of those two though. And then coffee. I had to get the coffee sheet. I just missed out on this before because I wasn't drinking coffee back in January, but I am now. I like how we get iced coffee in there too. And then the wedding day sheet. I like wedding sheets that are not like with people, that are with animals, because then it can work for any, you know, skin and hair colors. So any kind of couple this would work for. So for anybody getting married, that'll work for them. And then lastly, binge watching super cute because you get both the couple version and the alone like single version always need more tv stickers just to have variety so as usual feel free to list the names of all the characters that i could not remember down below because you all know i'm not going to look them up and yeah so that brings us to the end of my fig order from some little things so many cute stickers so pleased to have finally placed my base order in a very long time and yeah so let's go ahead and get into the next section now 
Okay, I'm pretty sure the seagull's name from The Little Mermaid is Scuttle, right? Am I right about that? I feel like it's Scuttle. Like, that seems right. I don't know. Hopefully that's right. I knew it would come to me the minute I turned the camera off. Alright, so, um, next for this haul, I have this thick, chunky order from Whimsical Cat Studio, and I just wanted to keep it in the original envelope it came in before I opened it, because it is so cute. It did come in a bigger package than this, obviously, but it's so nicely packaged in this little envelope inside. I just had to keep it intact, and it says keep on shining. So now let me struggle with opening this. I should just get scissors out, honestly. But Lord knows I don't do that. I'll get out my teeny tiny pair of sewing scissors that I got specifically for planning. This may be the first time you've seen them on video, possibly. I'm super proud of those cute little scissors. I don't know, I probably hauled them in a previous video, didn't I? Maybe. But I don't think I've used them in a plan with me yet. Who knows, it's been ages since I've filmed anyway. So, here's the order. Oh my god, and there's an even tinier cute envelope inside that. There's so many layers to this. And there's little uh, St. Patrick's Day washi, which I think is very funny, because it is not near St. Patrick's Day at all. Even a little bit. Alright, time to get out the adorable scissors again. Because I'm incapable of opening things with my bare hands. Now we're going to figure this out. I mean, I'm happy this is so well protected. But I also feel like it's slightly unnecessary. Because even when things are damaged and they come to me, usually they're fine. As you will see in a future haul because of this. Nobody nobody wants the weak care bag, but even then everything was fine in that one, so. Alright, let's see. Oh, it's so cute. She left me a handwritten note. I think this is the first time she's done that in an order, but I super appreciate that. I hardly think I would call her a small business, but I think I feel like she does pretty well, but still. That's so nice of her to write. So her name is Tin or Teen or however you say that. And there's this cute little thank you unicorn card in there as well. And a thank you sticker. Oh, there's two envelopes. Oh, goodness. And they are all attached together with washi. Oh, my goodness. I've never seen such intricate packaging. And I'm probably, like, destroying the stickers, but... Oh, man. I'm really having to work for it. Oh, and they both, both envelopes have the little thank you sticker. All right. This is my workout for the day. Just opening all of this. You know, it was probably so chunky because of the packaging. Like, I don't even think the stacks are going to be that thick when I put them together of everything that I ordered. No. But her paper is also pretty thin. Like, she's the only one who uses this particular type of st sticker paper with the blue backing. I think it's, like, so interesting. Oh, well, that's a little bit some pieces in here. All right. No, it's kind of, kind of thick a little bit. A little bit thick. Yeah, so there's, there's a lot in here. This this is my um, first order in like probably about a year or something like that, like a very long time. So it's not, it's not my base order, but there was a lot that I wanted to pick up and a lot that I'd missed out on before and a few new releases. She doesn't do new releases that often, I don't think, but um, there was a, a, still a lot that I needed. So we got some freebies in here. She does like a different way of doing freebies like every single time. I order which is super funny to me so we get this little um kind of mickey ears freebie these little girls with their planners and their little onesies and bows super cute this is like an emoji kind of sheet different emotions and then so this is um kind of like a whimsical cat studio like sale and order tracker sheet and new releases those are pretty cute. Um, and let's get into my actual order. So, holy moly, it is kind of a lot. All right, so I did get the church sheet because I do like going to church. I don't go that often, but I just I I like the feeling of being at a church with a like a very traditional kind of church service. So, I wanted to get this sheet for those rare occasions that that happens that that works out for me. 
Um, I also didn't have any sheets of alarm clocks and these were just the cutest that I've ever seen so I had to get this one just for occasions that well, I've never really used it for sleeping late but I guess I, that's like the main use probably but also just for anything that like starts at a certain time I mostly use alarm clocks to mark like webinars that or laptops or something that I will use to mark that but just like to start at a certain time. This was one of the new releases that I really wanted. This is like the washing Harry Potter sheet. Um, she does have like her own sheet of Harry Potter stickers, so all of these little characters are their own sticker, I'm pretty sure. But I just thought it was really cute that she like put them together on a movie screen just to mark like a Harry Potter marathon or something. I thought that was adorable, so had to get that. Oh, I love this pancakes sheet. Don't these look so delicious? Ho oh, ho. I just, I love pancakes. Like, if I'm ordering breakfast for myself like on a weekend typically pancakes from Denny's will be what I get <laughs> so that's appropriate super adorable I have way more pancake stickers than I've ever used but I just can't resist buying them all right I also needed just a, a trash taking out the trash sticker because I do mark this when I have the room to do so which has been a lot more often lately so I need to get a bigger collection of trash stickers um, here's another therapy sticker for the same reason as mentioned in, I guess, earlier in this haul. So y'all will already remember. I just love how the therapist is like a faceless, not faceless, but like a genderless kind of neutral character. And then the girl you can customize to be like you. So of course I got, I got that same girl. I usually get, I think Myrtle is her name. Pretty sure that's the one I always get unless she is sold out. Or no, it's Zoe. Zoe is, Zoe is the one that I prefer to get because she has a little bit lighter skin, but when she is sold out, I think I get Myrtle, who has, like, the little bit darker skin. Um, I really liked this one. This was just, like, at an airport, and she's, like, dozing off, which is, like, me every time I'm at an airport. But it's, I love this, like, little half box kind of scene right here. I just, and I love looking out the window, seeing the planes. I just love everything about this. So I had to get this for, like, traveling. This is for packing orders which thankfully I've had the opportunity to do a little bit more lately, so it seemed like I should get some stickers to represent that. Here we have cleaning up the fridge, which I don't do as often as I should, but, you know, it's good to have those stickers just in case. Um, here's walking the dog. I don't have a dog. I don't necessarily want a dog. Um, I may get one at some point in the future, but it's not top of my priority list like getting a cat is. But um, when I go to my parents' house, we do typically go on like a family dog walk in the morning um, when I visit them. And I don't have any like sheets of dog well, walking the dog, so I needed one of those. So there's that. Here's a wheelchair sheet. I think I got this, um, no, I definitely threw in some of these sheets for Sage. So I did get this. Um, for her, I think I'm just going to give this to her. I am going to take one of these for myself because she was in the hospital recently and I think she did, she, w she was in a wheelchair for a part of that. So um, I'm going to take one of those for my own planner to mark when she was in the hospital, but um, the rest of the sheet is just going to go to her. And here we have the packing sheet. I love this because it's like packed so much you have to like body slam it to get it closed. <laughs> yeah, I know that feeling. Well, thankfully, my suitcase is one of those that, like, you can unzip another thing and it extends a little bit more to fit more stuff, which is fantastic, but, yeah, I don't really have that kind of problem, but it's just funny to imagine. So, packing, you know, traveling, have to get the ice cream tub sheet because I do love me some ice cream tubs, especially when they are on sale, which is, like, all the time. Like, each brand has a sale on any given week or like some weeks it's one brand that's on sale and the next week it's a different brand at the store that I work at so this recent week it was like Briars or however you say that they had to buy one get one free so yep me and my boyfriend picked out one and we are still going through that but yes love me some ice cream um this one is like juice it's kind of like a, a green juice sheet but I'm gonna use it for smoothies so there's that and then this one is a refill, I think, because I do go through this sheet pretty quickly. It's, like, one of the only sheets I have that, like, I mark for, like, getting a lot of Happy Mail. Like, I have, like, you know, the classic Happy Mail one envelope kind of scenario, but I don't have a lot where you're, like, drowning in stickers, which is what I am right now because I've had so much come in lately, so I need more of that because it's, like, the only type of sticker that I have like that to mark that. Um, 
And then this one is for coffee. I just really love her with her bun, her little outfit. She's just so gorgeous in this one. And she's got that expression on her face, which is like me before I finish my cup of coffee in the morning. So it was so appropriate. So there's coffee stickers. This one is for like cramps or stomach aches. I don't think I had this sheet either, which is crazy because I always need more stomach ache stickers. But yep, very appropriate for those occasions. Um, here's podcasts which I'll probably use to mark recording a podcast rather than listening to one, but it could be used for either, I guess. And then there's vacuuming, another one that I'm surprised I didn't have, because vacuuming is like the one cleaning thing that I really enjoy doing, but I don't have any like sheets of just like vacuuming stickers, or I didn't before recently when I started just buying a bunch from everywhere, but yep, needed that for sure. Um, and then here's Zumba, which is like dance working out. I don't really do Zumba, but I do, um, I do love dancing, like, as a workout, so, I'll, like, I'll find, like, a dance workout routine on YouTube, and I'll do that sometimes, so I just wanted to be able to mark that. Here is a working late half box. Sometimes that's appropriate, and I just, I love her little half box scenes. They're so cute. Um, then we have putting on makeup. I love using these for, like, date night, like, getting ready for a date, because... I do put a lot of effort into my appearance on those days, and other days I really do not at all, so it just seemed appropriate that I would have that. Um, and then this one I really enjoy. This is hair dyeing. I did bleach my hair um, for around my birthday, so that's like a little bit over a month ago now, so my hair does currently have a couple streaks of like really light brown because I couldn't quite get it to blonde my hair was like solid black before so and I used the whole thing on, of bleach just to get a few streaks of my hair to light brown like my hair is really bleach resistant but um I tried so it took me a couple days to even do that so I'll be able to use at least two of these stickers I don't know if I'm gonna do it again it was so much effort for so little result and I don't even know if I'm the type of person who wants streaks in my hair but it was just a kind of what the heck kind of thing it's a 2020 kind of thing so I don't know but I needed to mark it at least once, so now I have a whole sheet, and I may just hoard the rest. And then we have what looks like folding laundry. I have a lot of laundry stickers, but I don't have a lot of folding laundry, and I'm so lazy that frequently I will do those two things on different days. So I just wanted to have a whole sheet just for folding. And then change sheets. I have way more stickers with these than I use, of course. I just need to remember to do it more often, so... Yeah, hopefully all these stickers that I have will be a motivator to change my sheets more often. I need to get like a whole separate set of sheets, because like, that way, if I need to change my sheets, I can just put the new set of sheets on my bed and not necessarily have to wash the old ones yet, and then I can wash both sets at once. I should do that. Anyways, alright, so let me have reading the Bible. I'm not really sure why I got this. The only time I read the Bible was during my, um... I had a class called Bible as Literature in college, and I really loved that class. We did read a lot of the Bible for that, but, like, I haven't read it since. I don't know. I already have I the church sheet. I don't know why I got this one, but maybe maybe just for the same sort of things to mark church-related activities, I guess. Or if I decide to read it again in the future, I'm not sure, but I have it. And then here's, like, a karaoke sheet. I really like to just sing along to songs sometimes, so I'll mark a jam out in my planner every now and then when I have, like, an hour-long jam session, just singing along to stuff. Um, so, yeah, this is kind of to mark that. The washi sheet, which is pretty self-explanatory. Me, right now, with my enormous stack of washi next to me that I still have to haul. It's probably going to be, like, its own haul. I have so much over there. Um, and then we have doing dishes. This is super cute. That's I know. I love the little stack of dishes and just looks adorable. So yeah, same reason as all the other dishwashing stickers that I get. Sometimes I have enough stacked up that I need to mark it in my planner because it's such an event. Here we have just being sad. I don't think I have a ton of like sad stickers, like specifically just like being sad. So I don't know. I just thought I would add more to my collection. I love the little hairdo too. Cute little pigtails. Um, then we have like a pool day. I don't really do the pool, but like my friend likes going to the pool, and my boyfriend has kind of talked about going to the pool, so I'm like, alright, I might get dragged to the pool at some point, so I might as well have stickers to be prepared for that. So, here's a little girl with her little unicorn pool floaty, which is so cute, and I love the bathing suit, 
I wish there was more bathing suits than just that one. We got some little ice creams, sunglasses, starfish, super cute. And then here we have just, um, like, it looks like online classes, because it's like, you got the laptop, but you also got the headphones and the books. So, I don't really do online classes, because I'm, you know, well past school age, I'm already graduated. But, um, I do occasionally take, like, free online classes just for fun, like, finance stuff usually. But, um, yeah, I thought that would be good to mark that. <laughs> this is like when things go wrong when you're on the computer and doing something computer breaks or you just don't like whatever assignment you're working on this is pretty appropriate for those occasions thankfully I don't have those too often but they happen all right next I just have the classic tired sheet I do collect a lot of these tired stickers because I don't know Sometimes my coffee just doesn't do it for me anymore. Um, I usually drink my coffee in the morning and then I'll be falling asleep by like 3 p.m. or like 4 p.m. So, yeah, sometimes I do have days where I'm just too tired to handle it. So there's stickers for that. And then angry. Again, I don't have like a ton of angry stickers to choose from, so I thought these would be cute to have. I love the little cat faces too. Oh, this is a refill sheet for me. I, I love this, like, sleeping sheet so much. Again, I always need more napping and sleep sleeping stickers because I go through them so fast. But, um, yeah, so this is a refill because I'm pretty much almost done with the previous sheet that I have. And then here's another coffee sheet. I feel like I already have this one. No, I don't. I have the tea version. But I did not get the coffee version at the same time because I wasn't drinking coffee then. But now I do. So, there's that. And I, got, I don't really know, because I drink coffee every day, so I don't know how often I'm going to actually mark drinking coffee, but sometimes I'm sure I'll have room for it. Oh, I love this sheet. This is like the springtime sheet. Wow, this is old format. Like, look at that. The, everything's different. These are like square cut, not round cut in the corners. This is old, but it's still really cute. I love this little rainbow. That rainbow with the flowers makes me so happy. I don't know. I just needed the rainbow and a little cloud. Pretty much got the sheet only for the rainbow because like I don't have a ton of rainbow stickers and whenever I see a rainbow it's just so fun I like to mark it but yeah this is just like springtime in general so we get like some rainy day stuff some little flowers in the rain boots plants and a little heart that says spring super cute all right then I got a lot of um, couple stickers or friend stickers um, mostly these are friend stickers because this was like all before I had a boyfriend and this was mostly because I needed more a couple stickers to mark my activities with Aiden and Alex. Um, so yeah, these are mostly meant to be couple stickers, but I'm going to use them as like best friend stickers. So um, the blonde haired guy is to mark Aiden because that's what he looks like. So here you have just like whenever Aiden comes to visit, I can just mark that with us looking all happy. Um, we do love movies a lot, so of course I had to get the movie time sticker for us. Um, same for this one. Just like watch movies, eating popcorn on the couch. This is to mark him. I got two. I got one for him and one for me. Um, because he is a medical researcher right now, so this whole like scientist lab coat kind of look is appropriate for him. So to get one for me to mark his activities and then I'm gonna try to get him into using stickers and stuff so this is for him and then here we have um, just like taking pictures taking selfies because we do always take selfies whenever we go visit places go out and about um, and then dinner so anytime we are eating a nice dinner out that's for us and then this one is just like just hanging out just like walking around super cute I don't know why she's dressed like a minion, but she is. And then this one, so yeah, there's more of Aiden in here, but there's some with brown hair to be Alex too. So here's Aiden and Alex. Um, I think it's like playing my, not, me and Alex. Um, I think it's meant to be like playing board games, but I'm probably going to use it for puzzles because we do do puzzles. They always have one set up. And then there's me and Aiden doing puzzles. And then here's us getting takeout, playing video games, although I wish it was like a Nintendo Switch because that is what we do, but same sort of concept, video games. Um, 
I like how the ones with the hearts are just like plain, so I can use that for like anybody. Um, and then here we are in the car together. Sometimes we just like drive around looking at stuff. Here we are going shopping. I think it's funny because like stereotypically the guy is like not as happy about going shopping as the girl. She's like thrilled. But like <laughs> in the case with me and Aiden, he would be like probably way more thrilled to go shopping than me. But <laughs> I don't know. We don't even like, really go shopping. But like I feel like it's something that we'll probably do at some point. So had to get the shopping stickers just in case. And then here we have traveling because we do want to travel obviously at some point when all that stuff opens up again. That's our goal. All right, and then here I got some for me and Sage as well. These are all kind of mixed up. Um, so I know that she likes to get the same character as me typically. I think, yeah. So she likes to get that girl as well, but I just didn't want them both to be the same. And I feel like her skin is probably like a shade lighter than mine. So I thought it made more sense to differentiate the two of us to get um, stickers that look different so that's meant to be me and that's meant to be her um so there's us we haven't actually hung out in person yet but i don't know just for any kind of friendship related activities you know this would be cute and also for whenever we finally hang out in person and then since obviously she lives one state over um we are kind of long distance friends so long distance best friends so i thought this would be cute for that just to mark whenever we're talking or facetiming stuff like that super cute and then here's more like facetiming for the both of us and then I don't I'm trying to remember what this was I think I didn't have any stickers of like any girl stickers of like me eating fancy dinner with any one of my friends and I think I just got this girl just to, gen just to generically represent any one of my friends. Either that or, like, I couldn't customize her. I'm not sure what the actual case was, but um, that's what Jess looks like. So that's the skin tone and hair color I usually get for Jess. So that could be used for whenever we eat dinner. Um, same for this, I'm pretty sure. Me and just any generic friend, but also specifically Jess, um, if we're in the car together and going shopping, traveling. Oh yeah, and I also got Aiden and Alex both together um, because they are, you know, best friends themselves even though we're all best friends. Um, and they do live in the same house with Aiden's brother. Um, but I just got both of them in one sticker to mark when they both come and visit me or when I visit them. Just so, you know, I can have a little half box that says Aiden and Alex visit. And then I can just have this there. Because, like, I wish I could have a sticker of all three of us, but not a lot of shops offer, like, friendship trios, much less customizable ones. So, that's my solution to that. Um, here we have, so I guess we're done with the couple stickers now, it looks like. Yep. Alright, so now we have, um, washing hair. Even though you can't see any of the hair, which is kind of sad, but you can tell us what that's supposed to be. Um, here we have blood test. So I feel like I already have one of these, but maybe I don't. Anyways, yeah, I don't know. I hate getting blood drawn and everything, but I feel like it's probably important to get blood tests every now and then just to know what you're, like, deficient in and everything. So there's that. I, I had to get the shark ones. You know I did. I'm obsessed with sharks. Like, no joke. It's a bad obsession. So I don't know when I'm going to use this, but any shark activity, there's me in the shark onesie. Like, that's appropriate. <laughs> Alright, and then I, I, of course, had to get the poop ones. I got two of these um, because of Anastasia. I like to mark when she poops because for snakes, it's pretty infrequent, maybe twice a month or something, that she will do that. And I just, I would like to mark it in my planner because I like to keep track of her activities. And I think it's really funny to put in my planner, too. So, always on the lookout for this type of sticker. So, that is for her specifically. Here we get some running shoes. Um, these are more like to walk or to mark walking around rather than running because I don't run or hiking because I already have hiking stickers. Um, so these are just to mark, you know, if I walk around Santa Cruz, walk to downtown, walk along the river, anything like that, um, anything that isn't something I would specifically consider a hike, then that's what this would be for. So I got that. I got the medicine sheet and this feels like kind of an older sheet as well, but they're super cute. It's all little faces. So we get 
pill bottle, pills, and band-aids. And then they repeat. It's kind of self-explanatory. Here we have a whole sheet of just upload stickers that don't actually say upload because I do have plenty of these sampler sheets. Um, I don't have any here, but I do have plenty of the like full meta upload sampler sheets that have all three, but I think the last one does say upload on it. Um, and I feel like that's kind of redundant if I then like write upload plan with me next to that or something. So I just wanted um, just a plain old laptop without upload written on it. And also I like the fact that it's a little bigger because then I can use it in a half box because frequently I do need a bigger half box size sticker to mark uploading something. I also got this little carousel um, just to mark, you know, amusement park type things. Not specifically carousels necessarily, but yeah, I don't have barely any amusement park stickers, so I kind of have to pick them up when I see them. So there's that. Super cute though. I love the little horses and the hearts. Um, and then these little ballerina cat stickers. So cute. I do love ballet. I do a lot of ballet themed workouts, so I, I just love the way it feels doing ballet. It's just, it's amazing. So, and the cats are so cute. I want to use those stickers right now. They're so cute. All right. And then I have this little teaching sticker. I really wish I remembered why I got this. I think it's, again, to mark just, like, online classes or something. I don't know. I must have just thought it was really cute. Because, again, like, I don't go to school. <laughs> I don't teach. What else would I use this for? I don't know. But probably online classes. It's super cute. Couldn't pass it up. Again, I always need more sleeping and nap time stickers. So had to get the whole sheet of the kitties also. Kitty is just so cute. And then the kitty in the litter box. Um, yeah, when I visit my parents, I'm pretty sure they love to make me clean the litter box while I'm there. Just to contribute and because they hate doing it. But also, you know, I plan to get cats one day, so I'll just add this to my hoarding collection. And then the last sheet is the other springtime sheet. You can also tell it's like a very old sheet from her. But again, super cute. I love the mumblebees. There's another cute rainbow. The little froggies are adorable. I love this planner with a little sunflower. Her purple hair and like the pinkish purple is amazing. The flowers, all parts, and the little duckies, all parts of this sheet are super cute. I love it so much. I had to get it. I am thrilled with this order. Like, I feel like I've been really sleeping on Whimsical Cat Studio. Just, these stickers are amazing and they're so cute. And she has literally like the best couple stickers like ever like they're so customizable like and there's so many different types of activities that you can get these are like these are my favorite couple stickers like with the girl and like the girl or the guy like the sheet whatever version of the sheet is like my favorite couple sticker there's so many versions more than any other shop that i've seen um in terms of like custom couple stickers and there's just so much in her shop in general. Like, this isn't even my base order, and it's enormous. Like, there's just so much. Like, any every activity is in her shop, so. And they're so cute. So I'm really obsessed with her shop so, so much, and I'm just really thrilled to have all these new stickers, and I can't wait to use them. I feel like she's just a shop that I never really think about, but then I've, I find myself reaching for her stickers, like, all the time. So this is just, like, a reminder to me of how amazing her shop is. Anyways, alright, so that is Musical Cat Studio, and I think, no, I'm not quite going to cut this yet. I'm going to show you one more thing before I cut this haul. Um, so, if y'all remember, I did get a Scoba Prince Co. rack bag with the Easter kit that I do plan to use for Easter when I finally get around to back planning it. Um, and what I got in that rack bag was the full boxes, thankfully. Um, I got the sheet of little things and fancy labels. I got this functional page right here. Um, this I got from somewhere else, but it like, it's from the mini kit, I think. So we have headers, we have uh, more little things, quarter boxes, and some pattern fancy labels. Um, unfortunately, these, the half boxes were all used. Um, and then I got the deco page with the weekend banner and all this other functional stuff along with the 15 millimeter strip and then also thrown into the rack bag or these date covers um, with gold foil. So this I planned to use to kind of make a Franken kit for um, this Easter kit. Thankfully I had 
one of my lovely subscribers offered to send me what she got in her Easter rack bag, um, which will supplement what I got brilliantly. Um, and I'm so thankful for that. Thank you so much. So I did get another 50 millimeter strip, so I'll probably be saving this for another kit because I do like collecting those um, to use foil overlays over. And thank goodness I got these glitter headers. Thank you so much again for all of this stuff. So the glitter headers really do help with that. Oh, and I love this. I get um, the fan boxes, fan four, which I probably would have chosen anyway. So I just love the black hair look. So I get so many extra full boxes, which I'm so thankful for. And then I get um, another functional page and another little things page and the fancy labels, which I'm super thankful for because I can never get enough of these. And then more of the deco and then these functional boxes here, which I super duper love. So, so grateful for all of this stuff. And it's pretty much like a full kit at this point. I think the only page I don't have is like the bottom washi page. Um, which is totally fine because it's so easy to create bottom washi um, using actual washi tape and using the 15 millimeter strip. So like that's like a no-brainer for me how that's gonna work. Um, and the date covers, of course, I already have these pulled aside that I actually keep with the kit. So yeah, this is pretty much the entire kit for me. And I'm so excited about having more sheets. Like, there's so much here to work with. So I'm just kind of organizing it right now. And I'll put that there. And yeah, it's going to make it super easy to put all together and use as a kit. So, that is a very generous gift, completely for free. I'm one of my lovely subscribers. Thank you again so much. All right, so that is where I'm going to end this haul, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah, there's the stuff I'm going to go over in the next one. And thank you so much for watching. If you want to like, comment, subscribe, and share, that would be fantastic. And I will see you in my next video. Ciao, ciao.